You all right there, ladies and gents? How's it going? I'm just out on Happy Hippo. Doing a little bit more of the running in. I've been riding it as much as I can. I haven't done huge mileage, but I've uh, got over 250 miles on it now. And keep that from a side down. I thought I'd take this opportunity to just uh, give an update on some of the things that I feel about the bike as I get more and more used to it. Now, obviously, I haven't got a huge amount of experience with the bike, so I'm still finding my feet with it. But I have to say it was definitely the right choice going for the bike with a lower screen. The travel version of the bike had a higher screen and the buffeting was just horrific for me at my height. I mean, I'm uh, five foot six and a half, five foot seven with a 31 inch inseam. I don't know whether that allows you to sort of work out how tall my body is from that. I can't, what I'm riding, my brain doesn't work like that. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, it's a lot better now with a lower screen. It is very noisy, um, and I think that's a trait of fared motorcycles anyway, so uh, that's something I have to get used to, and that means I have to remember to wear my earplugs when I'm out riding, which I forgot to do today, um, which was silly. So hopefully, um, if I come across a bike shop, I'll, I'll pick up a pair just so I don't go deaf by the end of the day. It's uh, partly a problem of this crash helmet. It is a noisy crash helmet being carbon fibre and lightweight and all that. But yeah, the bike's lovely. I'm really enjoying it. I've uh, uh, pretty much loved every single mile of those 250 that I've put on it so far. I've had a play about with some of the features on it. I'm loving the cruise control, I really am. And it's amazing how many times that actually becomes useful for you. I never really thought it was something that I would ever think is something I would want on every motorcycle I ever owned. And I pretty much feel that way now. I pretty much feel that way. The little MIA app and missing in action, it's not missing in action, but you know what I mean, the app thing for the Moto Guzzi, that works really well. Uh, it's only really any use as a, a sat nav, really. Um, I mean, I don't want to pick up my phone calls if I had any while I was out on the bike. The whole point of me uh, being on the bike is to escape all that stuff. Oh, perfect opportunity to get past. Car going slowly, awesome. Clear road ahead, proper bucker. Um, yeah, I mean, as you can see, the weather's pretty much turned now. I'm not sure whether this is it, whether we're going to have rubbish weather from now on in, but this is what we got. And it is actually a bit blowy today, so that does exaggerate the wind noise that I'm feeling. I don't know how much wind noise you're going to hear um, through the microphone. It's lovely seeing these um, birds of prey hunting. I don't know how well they pick you up, but I think they're kites. Uh, but yeah, it's getting very autumnal now, very autumnal. Now there's been a massive delay in uh, getting all my V85 videos to you just because I had some other ones which I needed to do first um, and to keep it all chronological and all that sort of stuff. So I do apologise, um, but I've had this bike quite a while now and uh, yeah, it just means that you're not completely up to date but we will catch up, we will catch up and it will all get more normal as uh, uh, winter progresses. I'm just trying to make the most of the time I've got off work where I haven't got stuff going on that I, is going to stop me riding and this means I'm banking a bit of footage it's lovely along here it really is we sort of came this way when uh, we went down to Dartmoor now I'm not going all the way down to Dartmoor that's a bit of an epic mission for an afternoon's ride <laughs> But what I will be doing is uh, just following my nose for a bit. I've not got the sat nav switched on, although I have got the phone connected up. And I'm just, just riding, just riding, enjoying being out on the bike. I'm very much loving the heated grips. They've been getting some use today. Haven't needed setting three yet. I've just been sticking in setting two, which seems to do the job. But it's definitely rucker weather, definitely rucker weather. Why do people park half a mile away from the uh, wait here sign? <laughs> Anyone would think red lights change to green as soon as I get to them. I wish they did. <laughs> it's damn handy being able to edit videos. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Right. Okay. Um, well, I think we're going to have to do the jink that we did before, which is... Not this way, but we're going to go this way. Fuck it. Let's go to Walton. 
when you have no particular place to go, it doesn't matter where you go. I don't really want to be on dual carriageways though. So we shall try and get off this as soon as I can. Alton, let's head to Alton. Now Alton's got a little bike cafe there as well down at the station, but I'm not going to go there. I've literally just left Lumi's. Talking of dual carriageways though, this thing is awesome on them. Um, yeah, it's, it's perfectly comfortable. And if you have a clear dual carriageway, you can shove your cruise control on at 65, 70 mile an hour, whatever you want. And then, uh, yeah, it's just easy, easy peasy. It was a fucking hawk. So while we're on uh, the boring roads, um, it seems like I'm stuck on them for a little bit because uh, I can't work out how to get to some fun ones from here, <laughs> but we'll find some. Uh, let's talk through some of the bits. Um, so currently, while I'm running in, so obviously I'm not pushing the bike that hard while I'm running it in, but also the engine's still tight, so it evens up a little bit. Um, my mile per gallon currently is at around 61, 62 miles per gallon, which is nice. I did have it as an average up to 64.9, I think, um, before the start of this run today. Uh, I'm not sure whether that's because I was riding gentler or, or, or what, I don't know. Um, so yeah, 60, 60 odd mile per gallon, that's okay. Uh, I'm sure once I'm thrashing it around a little bit harder then that will drop down a little bit but I imagine I'll stick around 55 mile per gallon once it's really running and that's certainly certainly not to be sneezed at not on an 850cc twin I am very much loving the cruise control <laughs> look at this fantastics <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's it's really quite handy. It means that speed tickets should be a thing of the past. Not that these days I seem to get them, but hey, uh, touch wood. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's a really nice thing to have on a motorcycle. And like I was saying earlier, I, I I would pretty much look to have this on any bike I got from now on in, at least road motorcycles, because it's just so helpful. Um, maybe once I've had it a little while, it might turn into a little bit of a gimmick for me. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So niggles there, niggles, niggles, niggles. What have we got? Um, I'm still not completely happy with the, uh, I think it's the bar position. It just puts a, a weird twist on my wrist here. And because uh, you've got slightly fatter grips, I think, because of the heated grips, which is, like I said on the test ride, something I'm not quite used to, because obviously small cock and stuff like that. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know. It's uh, it it is weird. It is annoying, um, and I'm hoping that I'll just get used to it. As uh, as the miles pile up on the bike, it's not a biggie. It, it's just something I think I need to get used to. Something that is annoying, and I am hoping that the bike outgrows it, is changing into sixth gear from fifth. Obviously from fifth, uh, I'm getting a lot of false neutrals. And when you're running the bike in, the last thing you want is false neutrals because that makes the bike rev. And we don't really want to be over revving this bike, do we now? We want to be looking after it. Um, so I'm going to keep an eye on that. It might be that I just need to get used to this new clutch feel and stuff um, and make sure I do a more positive input onto the lever. It might be that I need to adjust the lever, who knows? It, um, it might be just that it's got a rubbish fifth to sixth gear selection and I need to get that looked at. But I don't know, I'm not, I'm not criticizing that until I've put more miles on the bike and got more used to it. Because uh, it, more often than not, when you're new to a bike, it's operator error, isn't it? Although I have been riding motorbikes for uh, <laughs> 30 odd years now. <laughs> Talking of gears, one of the things that I do like that this bike's got is a gear indicator. And that's really nice touch to have, especially on a modern bike when you've got these screens that you can put almost any information on them that you want. Um, it tells you what gear you're in, which is great, that's what it's supposed to do. But if I pull my clutch in, which is what you do when you're changing gear, it doesn't tell you what gear you're in. Now I know that you either know whether you want to change up or change down, but because of that thing with going into sixth gear, it would be really nice if it indicated the gear you're actually in before you let the clutch out. So then you could see if you've not lifted the lever up far enough or something silly like that. I think that is something that, it's, it's just a really weird mechanism. I know it's how they've set it all up, it's like the whole fueling is based on what gear you're in and stuff like that. 
um, and the ECU is all rev dependent because that's how it knows what gear you're in and things uh, I mean uh, it's all science and wizardry as far as I'm concerned but it seems like they've solved a problem that didn't exist by going about it the wrong way <laughs> I think I don't know um, it might be fine I might get used to it um, and to be honest do I really need to be looking at the gear to know that I need to change up or down I don't know I don't know I mean, it sounds like I'm dripping about this bike. I love it though, I absolutely love it. Um, it's so comfortable to ride, it's so relaxed. I'm quite happy sitting here at 55 miles an hour, um, plodding along in top gear now, because I've just changed up because I realized I was in fifth, because <laughs> of the gear indicator. <laughs> yeah, no, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, it's so comfortable, it's so nice having some creature comforts like the heated grips um, and the cruise control. And I've already discovered I love bikes with bags. <laughs> it was a kind of an odd choice of them to go with the side luggage as the thing on the travel bike. Um, you'd have thought a top box would make more sense. But I guess top boxes look a little bit more unsightly, whereas side panniers look a little bit more... Um, look a little bit more baggerish I guess and uh, maybe that's what they're trying to appeal to or maybe they just had loads of these urban bags left from um, another model or something I don't know so as you can see the weather is pretty grim but I am toasty warm um, partly thanks to my ruckers definitely thanks to my ruckers uh, but also there's a lot of wind protection on this bike this low fairing uh, the wind kind of comes to about here so just above the camera um, I'll look at the GoPro Max so just above my GoPro camera on my chin is where the wind hits which sort of although it's not doing it at the moment uh, kind of keeps my visor a bit clearer which is quite nice but again like I said earlier it does make the crash helmet a little bit noisy uh, yeah it's all compromises isn't it and because I'm not used to having a bike with a uh, fairing of sorts I guess I'm noticing this more than other people would having the engines down by the side seems to keep the water off my knees a little bit and I'm guessing I'm getting a little bit of heat from them as well which keeps my knees nice and warm so it's all lovely good stuff I've just remembered I haven't got a hydrophonic screen protector on this GoPro on my chin so uh, I've got to keep remembering to wipe it because otherwise you're not going to be able to see anything it's actually been quite a while since I've felt the urge to go out in inclement weather on a road bike um, I guess having naked bikes it does put you off a little bit because you know you're going to get drenched but actually when you've got the right kit it's actually quite good fun and I'm really enjoying it today but then that's because I'm warm I'm dry and uh, I'm on a new bike so obviously every mile I put on this is good fun it doesn't matter what the weather's doing it is going to get filthy though uh, the place I got it CD scooters uh, they do an ACF 50 treatment so I'm going to get them to uh, do that to it when I take it in for its first service I think something I've noticed with the engine when you roll off just not like shut the throttle where you start getting engine brake but just when you roll off the throttle a little bit it almost feels like you're coasting so like the engine matches the free fall effect or momentum of the bike and it's quite a weird weird feeling but it's it's quite nice and i'm sure that is one thing that's massively helping keep the mileage up is i, I think the the bike kind of uh goes into a, if it was an electric bike it would be a recycle mode or whatever they call it where it's just like yeah it's just being as economical as possible and i don't know whether that's the fuel injection system going no we don't need to do anything now we'll just coast along here absolutely fine but it's lovely it's great it's really chilled out I really really love the surge as you accelerate on this bike it's it's quite something it's I, I, I'm just the only thing I could kind of compare it to is like a, a steam engine um, where it just like boy oh, just uh, uh, yeah I don't know it's something that I've never really felt on any other bike other than a Moto Guzzi um, obviously my V7 didn't have quite the same surge as this because it's it's a different style of um, power delivery on that but on this it's quite quite something it's lovely it's not a very noisy bike but we're just about to go through a tunnel so let's just see what it sounds like shall we 
bit pathetic. <laughs> but I do like the sound of it. It's again, it feels like that steam train or steam engine surging along. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, it sounds like it's got far more cylinders than it has and I don't mean it sounds like a V8 or anything um, but it just yeah I, I don't know it's 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 nice um, I might well fit a louder exhaust to it in the future but right now I'm just enjoying how tranquil everything is on this um, with just that lovely feeling of riding something that's just got such a smooth torque curve it's it's just lovely 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 I've not had any issues with the tires in the wet I don't know whether I will but currently no problems at all so yeah I'm dead chuffed with this bike it does what I want it to do it gets me from here to there in comfort with nice warm hands I can look at me sat nav on me screen and yeah and I've got bags, so when I get to where I'm going, I can either put my crash helmet in them, or I can carry stuff with me. Brilliant stuff. And I think having that carrying ability will be great for my motor vlogs, because it will mean that I'll be able to take the 360 cameras with me and set them up and stuff like that, rather than having to rig them all to the boy before I leave the house, which I don't like doing too much, because um, I don't want the naked lenses out on the cameras, except for when I'm recording with them just in case there's any stone chips or anything. Riding in this rain uh, with it rattling off my crash helmet is really actually quite soothing. It's, it sort of reminds me of camping in the rain or being down on a, a, a yacht with the weather crashing off the sides and stuff. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why bad weather is soothing. I think it's probably really only soothing when you're out of it but you know it's there so that's a soothing thing is that you know that you're not <laughs> you're not suffering that bad weather but it's there it allows us to know that we're in the worlds of the world but, but we're safe <laughs> oh this is one of the few times i've ever had a clear run along here and it's wet so i'm not going to go very fast it's a nice little set of twiddles this really nice the big wide bars on this um, are great fun for throwing the bike around. Uh, it's, it feels so planted, it really does. Motoguchi really have made quite a motorcycle here. Um, they deserve a good pat on the back, I think, for this one. It's cracking, it's cracking. And maybe I'm cracking, maybe I'm cracking up, maybe I'm turning into an old fogey man that just wants Motoguchi's in his garage. It's not true, I tell you, it's not true. I just like Italian bikes. <laughs> Since we're talking about my Italian bikes, they're all Italian now. Two Motoguchi's and the Beta. I will be out on the Beta soon, I promise. Um, I'm getting some stuff done at the house at the moment, which has uh, stopped me being able to ride that one because I've taken that away and uh, screwed it away in another person's garage just to free up some room to allow the workmen to have some access to mine. Um, yeah, so this is the only bike I can ride around on at the moment uh, until that work's done, which is a good excuse to get it running, eh? A good excuse. It's been nice having you with me on this soggy little ride. If you haven't done so already, and you like this V85, it's on your shopping list, or you've got one, why don't you click that subscribe button? It'd be awesome having you come back for some more. Like I mentioned before, I've got another Moto Guzzi, the uh, V7, which is quite customised. I've also got a Beta Enduro bike, which I do a little bit of green laning on. Um, all good fun stuff. When I get something a bit more suitable, I'll be doing track days and things, but that'll be in the summer of next year, not not in the depths of winter or any of this stuff that we got right now that's for sure but yes yes click that subscribe button if you like this video if you like the v85 if you like how i'm getting on with it so far if you like any of its features and cruise control and heat grips and stuff give it a little thumbs up we like them we like them a lot and uh, if there's anything you didn't like about it, you can always give it a little thumbs down. I don't mind that at all. But please do, if you didn't like something, point it out. Tell me what. I might be able to change it. Or I might be able to tell you to bugger off. <laughs> I don't mean that in a rude way. I just mean if it's something that's intrinsic to this channel that you want me to change, I ain't going to do that. But 
if you think I'm doing something wrong, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. And if you think I'm doing something right, if you like what you see here, you've got anything to say at all, again, just drop down in the comment below. I love hearing from you. All right, well, you ride safe, take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Keep Yeah, you know, you gotta keep that bar. Rubber side down.